So far we have discussed the concept of categorizing decisions and events based on whether they are high impact or low impact ones. We did this by looking at the potential harm caused by a decision or an event. In this video, I would like to talk about how we can approach a low stakes decision which we can identify based on the relatively low amount of harm it could cause you. Imagine you are sitting next to your friend at a party, but it's a little boring. Your friend suggests you do something fun. He tells you to flip a coin, and if it lands on heads, you have to give him $100, and if it lands on tails, he will give you $110. Do you take the offer or not? Imagine yourself in this scenario, and both you and your friend have a few hundred dollars in your pockets. Do you take his offer? Many people would not take him upon the offer, because they are afraid of losing $100, but this would be a mistake. This is a low stakes decision. Let's define the random variable x as your profit from this game. Then x can either be minus 100 with a probability of 0.5 or $110 also with a probability of 0.5. If you recall from an earlier video, the expected value of x would then be 0.5 times 110 plus 0.5 times minus 100, which is plus $5. This game has a positive expected value. Here, the people who would not play the game out of fear of losing money might have what I call a narrow way of thinking. They may be looking at the decision in isolation, which in reality, it is really just one small instance in all of your finances throughout your life. This is an example of risk aversion, and a situation like this, it is probably not a good idea. This game has a positive expected value, so by the law of large numbers, if I play a large number of such games, in the long run, I will make money. In the grand scheme of things, losing $100 one night is not devastating. At the moment you lose, it may feel that way, but it won't affect your finances in the long run. This mindset is called the broad way of thinking. It is very important to approach such situations with this in mind. If you are faced with a low harm decision that has a positive expected value, you should take that gamble. In order to make gains or profit in your personal financial lives, we need to accept the possibility of small losses. Many of us focus too much on the current feelings and emotions and let them stop us from making such risks. In order to be successful in life, we need to have a broader way of thinking about such situations. We will continue our discussion on approaches to decisions in the next few videos with examples from different aspects of life.